My name is Trip Fry. I'm with the Fry Foundation. I'm a trustee there. Well, the Fry Foundation, to begin with, has um, a history of public art. We, we support public art and have for quite some time um, and have been involved with other projects around the city. You know, we as a family and a, and a foundation decided to kind of embark on a special project to install an iconic piece of public art uh, about five years ago. And it just started with that idea. And we brought on a uh, consultant, Joe Becker, from the Meyer Gardens, chief curator at the Meyer Gardens, to help us kind of navigate the, that world and ultimately landed on the Love Sculpture by Robert Indiana. We also looked at different sites around the city, had some conversations with the city about options for us. We ultimately landed at, at the spot um, on Monroe. I think one of our main goals was that we wanted it to be iconic. Obviously, this particular sculpture has an uplifting message. You know, it represents probably a lot of things to a lot of different people, and that's what makes it a great, I think, a kind of a great piece. It represents, you know, love is obviously a great virtue for everyone. I think it represents that the Fry Foundation uh, has, a, has a love and passion for the city. And then kind of also along, along that, like when we were going through the process, you know, we wanted something that would just be um, you know, like I said, iconic, where people would, you know, use it in their in their language and say, "Hey, I'll meet you here," or it's in photos. And I think we've accomplished that in the sense that, you know, a lot of people want to take their photos in front of it. Everyone can relate to it. Everyone knows how you know how powerful uh, love and that emotion can be. So it wasn't necessarily, you know, that we wanted Robert Indiana. It was more that the sculpture and the message that it sends resonated with with us. And there are actually some different sizes of the love sculpture. This was actually built in the 90s, um, and there are different colors. This is one of the options that was still available through his estate and through um, you know, the folks who manage uh, his artwork. Um, it had never been publicly displayed before, and it is just is the colors that he originally painted it. But there are different options, all you know, different sizes, different colors, and different words around the world. You know, we, we always want to support people's creativity. We think that public art, uh, you know, brings out conversation. It makes it a lively city. Um, certainly want, um, and Grand Rapids kind of has evolved in this way, you know, to be a, a thriving, uh, vivacious, you know, city. And so public art helps, helps to do that. It, it adds character, it adds um, color, it adds, um, you know, conversation. You know, love is a, is a an emotion and a, uh, an important uh, attribute to life and uh, represents the Fry Foundation's love of the city, but I also hope it represents the citizens and the residents of, of the city and their love for each other and for their city and for public art. So um, it just means, you know, it probably means different things to different people, but for us, we hope it's just a uplifting, uh, uplifting piece of art um, that everyone can relate to.